a nice mixture of literally every Ghidorah design, majorly at least, uh, pretty much rammed into one. So, U2's Ghidorah definitely wins in the sculpt and paint department. Not so much paint, but the sculpt and the sculpted details definitely make up for it. Okay, guys, so I just realized um, I'm kind of an idiot. Uh, when I went to go ahead and do size comparisons, which, uh, yes, we are going straight to size comparisons. What? Yeah, um, this figure does not have any articulation nor accessories. Uh, no, the box does not count, nor does the box protector that's packaging. But yeah, um, <laughs> uh, I'm kind of an idiot. I thought the little frill that's right here that kind of curls up was the part of the GMK Ghidorah. Yeah, no, it's not. It's part of the Showa Ghidorah. Um, yeah. <laughs> There's a small little tiny, uh, little crescent that's on Ghidorah's forehead. It That's literally what's on here. So, uh, yeah. But, I mean, he still looks like the show, the, um, the GMK Ghidorah, you know. He has the bigger fangs. He has the... I'm really struggling at this point. But yeah, he does look like the GMK Ghidorah still to me. But yeah, speaking of which, here he is, as for size comparisons, with the Mezco Destroy All Monsters Round 2 set, King Ghidorah, with his gravity beams with the base, and the Bandai Creations GMK King Ghidorah 2001. So as you can see, he's definitely not as big as the other two King Ghidorah figures that I have. But that being said... He's still of a size of a line that you guys definitely know and love. And for some more size comparisons, here he is next to some other mini King Ghidorahs that I have in the collection with the Bandai Banpresto Deformation King, uh, King Ghidorah 2019 from Godzilla King of the Monsters, 2019 of course, and the Bandai uh, mini uh, blind bag figure, mini figures, blind bag uh, King Ghidorah from uh, 1991 from Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah 1991. And, uh, yeah, I think, uh, when I initially said his review, I kind of said that he was the closest thing to a King Ghidorah Funko Pop. Yeah, I don't think I stand by that anymore. I mean, because he's, like, literally too realistic. He fits right in. Give him, like, solid black eyes and literally just, it's a pop at that point. Also, you may want to go over that, um... That logo at the bottom, if you're planning on making a custom YouTube's, uh, sorry, YouTube's, uh, Funko Ghidorah, so yeah. And, uh, speaking of Funko Pops, here he is next to some Godzilla Funko Pops, both from the classic series and the modern Godzilla vs. Kong series, with, um, which, uh, we have here with us. The original release, uh, Funko Pop for Godzilla the 2021 Godzilla vs. Kong standard Godzilla, the original Godzilla general, not really general release, it was, it was an exclusive, kind of glow-in-the-dark, spitfire, heat ray, atomic breath, whatever you want to call it, and the heat ray Godzilla from 2021 Godzilla vs. Kong. No, it's not the glow-in-the-dark version, I wish it was. Or I wish I had one. And speaking of U2's figures, here is the comparison you guys have probably been waiting for, the entire collection of Godzilla vs. Kong figures from U2's. And, as you can obviously tell, no, unfortunately, they do not scale with each other. That being said, I don't think you should be getting U2's for scaling. If you're looking for figure scaling, U2's is not your line. Because King Ghidorah is actually tied for the second smallest, I believe, in the line. Because, looking at it, it's actually like... Well, we're not counting this line. We're counting the original line. I, rem I remember seeing that Mecha Godzilla was actually the tallest. Godzilla and Ghidorah are about the same height. And Mothra is just a tad bit shorter than everyone else. Probably because she's on a flight stand, which you think would boost up her height tremendously. But no, um, King Ghidorah is definitely the second smallest. But I'm not sure if that counts the wings probably does but if that does count the wings that just makes him even smaller but yeah uh here's what he looks like with everyone else um from the godzilla vs kong line i don't own any other figures from the original godzilla line yet 
I am currently coming into some situations that I could very well get out of some Godzilla YouTube spheres. Keep in mind, I don't actually work a job right about now, but I definitely will in the future, whether that's soon or way far. But I mean, that, that to be fair, that is kind of, you know, something we all have to do in life, but yeah. Um, yeah, so he does not scale with any of the monster versus Godzilla versus Kong self, unfortunately. So if you're hoping to have him face off against Godzilla with Heat Ray, uh, sorry to say this, no. Also, by the way, the Heat Ray is my own custom beam. Also, just to kind of throw this uh, little size comparison or comparison in, here he is next to my very first King Ghidorah figure ever, the uh, Panic and Destruction bootleg four-pack set with King Ghidorah, Godzilla, Gigan, and Rodan. Um, and as you can clearly see, I needed the upgrade. Well, I've been saying this for years, and at this point, <laughs> you can consider it an upgrade or downgrade, whatever you want to call it. And so, with that being all said, 